Well, it's Friday afternoon now. Um, should be out practicing, but it's raining. Yeah, so we thought we'd do a lap in the van instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nearly as good. Yeah, it's a bit slower. It, it's actually nice to to do a lap in a van. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to do a lap in a van or a car because it's you, you don't you can see a bit more of it at this speed. Yeah. You know when you're going flat out, it's uh, you miss <laughs> you miss a lot of the stuff. And the view, I, I mean, it's a little bit overcast today, so you're not going to see far. But the view is up on the mountain end of the. It, it, it's, yeah, it's, beautiful. it's a beautiful place, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice place to ride bikes yeah. or just be. Nice place to be. Exactly. That's why there's all these hundreds of people. Hundred. I mean, I don't know how. Do you know how many people visit the Isle of Man for the TT? It's got to be. Know. It's it's got to be hundreds of thousands, surely, aren't there? I, I think mean, so. Yeah. I don't know. But so apparently, I was chatting to someone. or overheard someone yesterday on the plane over, and they were saying it's the busiest practice week that's ever been. Right. Well, I can believe that because yeah. the weather's been nice. Yeah. And we've missed two TTs, haven't we? Yeah. So? And it has been real, like very busy. There's been people. Sorry, I'm boring you. Yeah. No, no, no. I just I felt a little buzz in my phone, so oh, I thought okay. I'd uh, I thought I'd get rid of it. Sorry, I'm very unprofessional. <laughs> Sorry. How is it? How has it been then? It's has been, it been. Has it been a, more of a challenge than you thought it was going to be? I, I forgot how hard it was. I think uh, last time I was here, I did 126 mile an hour lap, and I and I thought to myself, right, I'll. You know, I'll do practice week, and hopefully by the end of practice week, I'll, I'll kind of get back up to where I left off. But it's so hard, mm. like, 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 especially I, I, with four chins. Especially with four yeah. chins, yeah. So if anyone's uh, wondering if I've put a little bit of weight on in the last week, um, haven't. I've actually lost weight, but I've got tonsillitis. So my, um, my, my can you see it wobbling? Oh. I feel like what's is it a pelican? What's one of them yeah. birds that got? <laughs> yeah. I feel like a pelican. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I'm a little bit run down, but um, yeah, it, it, yeah. The point I'm making is it's really difficult to ride around this place anyway. So when you when you're not feeling your best, it's it's even tougher. And I hate to say it, but um, I think my prediction in our little TT podcast, I was right. You said that by the end of practice week they'll be doing one three fives and everyone yeah, will be on the pace. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it hasn't. Yeah, it hasn't. Uh, hasn't materialised. No, it hasn't. Uh, so you was right. I was right. I'll yeah. give you. I'll give yeah. you that one. Yeah, I thought that the. Well, I, yeah, I thought the lads at the front would be straight up to pace, and I thought I would be as well. And <laughs> and you know, no, but, no one has been you know, really. Apart, apart from um, apart from Hickman and Harrison, and to be fair, David Todd's done. He went. He's done one hundred and thirty. And then he did a one three two in practice, didn't he? That was as fast uh, as a lap. I, I, ever, don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So those three guys are head and shoulders above everyone else, and every and pretty much you know the top lot: Hillier, McGuinness, etc., etc. They are still four or five mile an hour off what they should be, as are you. Yeah. So you kind of you're kind yeah, of yeah, kind of the, yeah, where I ought to be, be really. Yeah. 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 That's how I've been justifying it to myself as well. I <laughs> say so you've been sleeping at night. Yeah. Yeah. I came through here this morning, and uh, we're at Bray Hill, by the way, for anyone who's interested. I came through here this morning, and there was there must have been 50 people sat there waiting for the practice session to start. Yeah. Because it's one of them places where everyone goes. Yeah. If you, if you want to get a good spot somewhere like that, you got to be you've a German. Got to be, you'd be a German yeah. with your towel. Yeah. yeah. Does the circuit change much? No. There's there's a few bits of resurfacing, uh, and, and there's a few bits of like. <sighs> Stuff that isn't the circ like uh, up at up at Crosby, they've built a new housing estate on the left hand side. Right. Uh, at Glen Tramon, they've chopped a load of trees down. So the circuit is exactly the same yeah, sure. in them bits, but yeah. it just feels different. You know, it feels a bit more open in yeah. places. And um, but yeah, uh, resurfacing wise, there's a, a really good section from up in Ramsey from um, um, May Hill. Yes, it's called the, the quick right yeah. up the hill. Yeah, uh, to the hairpin. The hairpin yeah. all the way, all the way through the it, hairpin. It looks fact, really nice. Yeah, yeah. It it's looks like it looks nice and dark and, and confidence inspiring. Yeah, and it, it, yeah. on the TV, you go, that looks like a completely different section of track. Yeah, but they've actually, I don't know what it is. I, I think they, obviously there's more cameras, isn't there? Yes, there's more cameras this year, yeah. so you get different views. And I got to say that TT Plus, if you if you haven't watched it and you're watching this now, you need to go and get it because it is. Fucking brilliant. Mm. 15, qu 15 quid in bad, isn't it? When no. it? We've said about it before, when you compare it to like Formula One, MotoGP, yeah. Yeah. all these other stuff, it's um, 
bargain basement prices. Oh my god, I want a fucking ride here. <laughs> oh my god, I want a fucking ride here. <sighs> Is it bringing it all back? Yeah. Oh. And I, and I, I don't care, I'll say it again. I, I flew in on the plane, landed, and I just, I got that feeling that no other place in the whole world. Oh, yeah, fighter. And, and, and it's somewhere that I think, it's special for us because we've, we've grown up with motorcycles and racing bikes and stuff. Yeah. But I think, I think it's special for, you know, you don't, you don't even have to, you don't, I've said it before, you don't need to be a motorcycle enthusiast, you don't need to be a bike racer, you don't need to be a bike fan, you don't even need to have a motorbike. If you come here during this week, during this fortnight, yeah. you'll, you'll understand a little bit about why it's so special. I think, anyway. I oh, definitely. I mean, there's so many. Like I said it's so busy, and there's so many 44 teethers about. It's, it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been <laughs> much, yeah, yeah. Like we cannot walk anywhere in a paddock without someone saying hello or wanting a chat. It's, don't get me wrong; it's brilliant. It's just I didn't expect it. I, 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 it's, it's just bonkers. But I suppose when you think about the kind of demographic, mm. then yeah. The, well, the, the, <laughs> the support I've had whilst I've been here from from. You know, people that, that yeah. watch the channel and and you know read the stuff on the website. It's been it's been humbling. You know? yeah. It's been really nice. Oh, oh fucking hell! Um. Hi, mate. You okay? Don't Ed, Ed, Ed you, you, you're on you're on camera, so don't say fuck or bugger. Union Mills. Union Mills. This is where it starts opening up now. Yeah. Isn't it? This is where it starts getting good. Fast. This section, um, or th this or couple of the nights this week was really bad for the sun. Yeah. Because in the, e the evening practice, you kind of go in round at like eight, nine o'clock, or six, seven, eight, nine yeah, o'clock, yeah. and the sun is right in front yeah. of you. And you're going uphill, it's in and out of the trees. It's, um, there's bits where you, you just, you can't see. You've just got to roll off, because you, really? you just can't see. You got a fair amount of coverage on the uh, television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty funny, you know, when you're riding riding along the mountain and there's a helicopter because obviously <laughs> you're on the side of a mountain yeah, yeah. and the yeah. helicopter's flying, but it's only the same level as yeah. you. It's kind of like yeah, yeah. It's like uh, like some on a film. Some fucking rattling. In there. Oh shit! Oh fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> Balagari. Bala fucking scary. Yeah. You can do this. I only I only figured this out this this week. You can actually do this flat out on a 600. I don't think I did it flat on a twin. Don't you? No. It's just your brain says no. Yeah, it does. It doesn't. It? <laughs> a few people have told me that they've done it flat out on a big bike, but I do not believe. No, bollocks. Them. Don't believe. Bollocks. Them. Who's that? Um. I don't want to name and shame. I don't want to name and shame. Whoever it is, you're talking shit, shame. mate. You're talking fucking yeah. shit. Did, did did you see the one wheelie in coming over this? Oh, it's beautiful, yeah, mate. Yeah, it was Absolutely a good one. Absolutely beautiful. It? We might put that here now. Did you start that purpose? No. No. no that's just that's just what I do. <laughs> Bollocks. That's just what I do. <laughs> it's fucking bollocks. Yeah, it is. There's yeah, a, that was a proper Dunlop. That. There's a there's a there's a, a one from uh, last uh, the last time I was here as well. I just like pulling wheelies. I got a, I got an Instagram message from someone at the Northwest 200, saying something like, um, "Oh, we was watching, uh, we was watching at wh whatever corner it was, and we was laughing like fuck because everyone else was like accelerating and driving, leaning on the back brake to keep the front wheel down, and I was just fucking wheeling every lap." <laughs> the reason I'm here is to to enjoy, have fun. is exactly. to have fun and enjoy yeah, yeah. riding a bike, and that's fun. Yeah. So, yeah. exactly. And if it makes a few people smile, and I love what David Todd was doing. I don't know if you've seen him getting his elbow. Oh uh, bungalow. yeah, bungalow. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's a serious thing. It's a it's a, it's a competitive sport. You know, it's not it, you're not here to fuck about. At the same time, you got to have fun, aren't you? Yeah, you got to yeah. have fun. It's it, it, it's too much of a. You're putting too much on the line exactly. not to have fun, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. But you know the time you spend here, the risk that you take yeah. doing it, the budgets that you spend in. You know. Yeah. If you, if you if it's just a job, then. <clears throat> nah. So what's the what's the scariest part for you like after coming three three years away? Um that bit after Ren Cullen where it's I think it's Bishop's Court oh, where it's just bit. really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. fast yeah. and then it's like all looks the same. you can pretty much do it all 
just about pinned, but you've got to climb around the bike so much and so hard and yeah. go get your line inch perfect. I found it on the Isle of Man because because there's sections where it, the, like it's unlimited speed limit, they're in a speed limit. Where there is a speed limit, people like properly stick to it. If it's a 30, yes. people do 30. Oh, got, yeah. They don't do 31 yeah, yeah. miles an hour, yeah. they do 30. I think that's a general part of island life, isn't it? Yeah. I think you don't abuse the rights you've got. You've got all that luxury of doing whatever the fuck you like on, yeah. that, and on the unlimited sections. But even on the unlimited sections around here, I don't, I don't take the piss. No. You know, there's no point. So I got, I landed last night, and waiting, what would have been hours in a in a taxi queue, and some bloke was like, "Anyone want to lift a Douglas?" I was like, "Yeah, cheers, mate." Got a lift, and within thirty seconds of being on the road, there was dickheads on bikes like proper dickheads but like, makes makes me embarrassed to be a a motorcyclist this this next one's one i think one of the just single corners one of the yeah. scariest bits this is one where of course Lee. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 it's a real late apex yeah and i'm i am convinced this is one that you can do flat out on a big bike but i haven't managed it yet it's every lap i'll just have a roll and I get round with loads of space left on the outside but um, yeah then you have another go 20 minutes later and you've you just you've forgotten there was a tree that I used to, I think it's that tree actually as a breaking that marker. I used to use as a breaking yeah. marker so I'm, I think I'm now I'm using that arrow on the road I right. couldn't I couldn't figure out what tree it was so I had to find something else I mean you can run it run on here quite yeah quite safely can't you yeah so it's one that you can just push the envelope yeah. a little bit more can't you I love this section yeah, physical though, and it's hard work. This is this is one of the bits where you're just fighting the bike the whole way around, aren't you? Like, like, like I say, short circuit. I saw this yesterday, and I thought so, like one of the oh, side right. cards or something oil. had spilled oil, but yeah. it looks like it's just a bit of a stain, because I've not seen it before. This is a, so, I love this corner. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's yeah. one of them ones where you can just really throw it in, it. and the, yeah. the, the hill kind of scrubs your speed off for you, so you don't really have to brake. There was a great big tree right there that I used to aim for and then kind oh, of tip in and what? chopped it. I think in it's, the garden? I think it's, uh, yeah, oh, it right. chopped it down. So when you broke down, not broke down, when you were stopped, where was that? That was... Uh, oh, when the red flag the other day? Yeah. Uh, Glen Tramon, so that's oh, okay, about right. 20 yeah, some yeah. miles in. Yeah. Just before Ramsey. Yeah. I saw you parked up with um, Hickey. Hickey, Stefano Bonetti, Joey Thompson, uh, James Hind. Yes, points. No, we didn't have any no. pints. We was uh, we was kindly offered some pints, but we um, we had to ride the bikes back, so oh. we thought we thought we better not. It's all changed now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you've been piss tested and um, yeah, and yeah, drug drug, tested, yeah, yeah, drugs tested, piss yeah. tested, okay, um, right. and and it's it's zero tolerance now. So I had yeah. to blow zero. Like luckily, well, luckily <laughs> or not, because I'm a bit poorly. I've not been, really been having a drink. I think. The thing is, like we finish in practice week, you kind of practice is usually till like nine o'clock at night, and then yeah. then by the time you get in, you, you get changed, get sorted. You, you want to really, you want to be good thinking about going to bed, but but it's you need to kind of decompress yeah. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and, yeah definitely. You know, it's yeah. just to have a pint before bed is just a nice way to chill out. Yeah. So I've not been teetotal while I've been here, but I've not been drinking a lot at all. So yeah, when I got when I got breathalysed. There's still that kind of because I had a couple of cans of yeah. Stella or whatever. I'm thinking, oh, is it? When, when be was that before you go out? Or it was about yeah. So it, it was about lunchtime, right? Um, and then and then the session would have been like six o'clock. So bloody hell. But yeah, blue zero, and there was nothing in the um, nothing in the piss test. So got away with it. <laughs> See Scotland over there. Never. Yeah. In uh, 2017. When I was when I wasn't racing, I came and watched, and I sat up on that wall at Hanley's and just watched the bikes going by. And there's a there's a, a photograph of me in the program, <laughs> watch sat there watching, just as a, a spectator. Because I got I uh, my dad was looking through the, through the program and he said, "Oh, how come we're in a picture of you in what, here?" This year? The, oh. Yeah, this year in the oh, program. Right. This year he said, "Why, why haven't you got a picture in here? You're too shit." And so I had a look and said, actually, George, there is a picture. There you go. How would you like them onions? What was uh, Bagara like when you uh, come here for the first time? Um, After three years? Uh, uh, an eye-opener. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I caught my, um, see there's a bush on the inside, isn't there? A couple of laps, I caught my my shoulder on the, you know, when you feel the, the leaves smack really? the bushes, and I thought, fucking hell, Fuck. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> that's Ooh, too, really? Yeah, yeah, them bastards. That's, Fuck that's it too close for comfort, yeah. isn't it? So, so I decided to run a little bit wider. <laughs> I brought a tin of I brought a tin of red spray paint with me because there's, ah, a, right. there's a there's a there's a a curb in here that was always sprayed red that was a real good reference point for right. like for, for an apex. Okay. And it when we came over the other last year it had all worn out so I was going to spray it up but luckily it's that dropped curb there the someone someone sprayed ah, it right. like yellowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it saved me a job. Oh nice. Saved me a bit of pain. There was a, a fish a wooden fish on a post on the way into Kirk Michael. Oh yeah, yeah. And I, it's, I've either moved it or it's dis disguised it somehow. Did you break so, it in the 30s? No, break no. at the, well I, break, I used to break where the where the fish was, oh, okay, but right. I can't see the fish anymore. So now I'm breaking at roughly this crossroads here. So where's the fish? Here. Ah, there's the fish. Where? But you, there, ah, but right. you can't see it so much because yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they need to cut the, when that bank's cut back, it, it, you can see that fish real good. Something fishy going on. Something very fishy yeah. going on. Two parrots sat on a perch, one of them said to the other, can you smell fish? I think we should do a, a TT course pub crawl one day. Definitely. On bikes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is there a rule against being a pillion on a bike when you're pissed up? I don't know. That's not a bad shout. Oh, it's pretty dangerous, isn't it? It's pretty dangerous. Da yeah, it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> they are keen as mustard, aren't they? This one. Yeah. Lot. Yeah. Four hours to go. Three and a half hours to go. I, don't, I would like to come to Kurt Michael for, for, a, for a night. You would? Yeah. Uh, to watch? Back to watch, yeah, yeah. 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 Not for like a big. big no, not for a night, night out. No, no. No. Stag party in Kirk Michael. <laughs> <laughs> lads, lads, lads. <laughs> Let's go to the Today's Express for a cake and a beers. <laughs> I think this is where. Um, Ginger Pete's staying, isn't it? The first couple of years, I never got a lot of air over this jump. I think I was, I think I was just a bit scared of it. Yeah. Because um, you have to be upright, don't you? Yeah, you have got to be upright. Yeah. yeah. Um, but because I because I wasn't getting much air, I wasn't really I wasn't carrying the speed to really need to be upright because I, I, okay, like, right. I was barely getting yeah. any air. Whereas this year, I'm I'm just going a little bit faster over that bit, and now I do need to be upright because yeah, if you if you're not all hell breaks loose. So this is the this section. Is the shit bit. This is yeah. the section that I was saying I find yeah. mega scary because you can do it flat out, but yeah, it's phys really physical and and everything's happening so fast. Mm. So you ain't got like you've only got one chance to to get all the inputs right and and and, and things become heavy when you're going at yeah. like big speeds, don't they? You're forcing the bike over and trying to get yourself out the, out the wind as much as you can. So when you took the preload off the bike yesterday, yeah. that, helps, that helps the bike turn, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we put some stiffer springs in. Yeah. So, so, so we put stiffer springs, because we, oh, we, we, were, we were just getting harder and harder and harder on the preload, which, yeah. we, which you, know, you can only do for so long. So we, so we put stiffer springs in and back the preload off. On the advice of Rico. On the advice of Rico at Maxton. Yeah. But then we've also, because it was bottoming out real real heavy at like places like bottom of Brail, um, Bugaro, um, even even grabbing the brakes into Hanley's is a bit of a dip. Right. So yeah, we uh, we put some more oil in, tightened up the air gap a little bit, just to kind of give it a bit more support at the bottom of the spro spro stroke. Stroke. By stiffening the springs and 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 reducing the preload, we've kind of robbed Peter to pay Paul a little bit and ended up... <laughs> Shagging Peter. Yeah. yeah. Fingering Paul. Yeah. Have you uh, noticed the lights, the new light system? Yeah. Obviously, they look pretty... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're good, yeah. yeah. They're fucking bright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're really good. I was talking to someone when we stopped at Glen Tramon, because I've always been really interested to know whether or not uh, houses on, on the actual TT course command a bit of a premium yeah and they said it's actually the opposite really yeah i suppose i can imagine like it is a if you're not into it it is a massive nuisance but then i suppose it's a nuisance wherever you are because yeah you know, even if you're off the course yeah, yeah, then it, yeah. you can't get anywhere on the main roads but, but i suppose I mean, if you're on the course you are fucking locked yeah. in aren't you most manx people are 
love the bikes anyway. Even if they don't love bikes, they love the TT week. Yeah, well, it's older than them, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Unless they're 108 years old. Yeah. <laughs> where would you watch, if you could watch the TT at any one place, where would you choose to watch it? So, someone asked me that earlier. Um, this is the first time, they, first time I hear they came by the awning and you were doing something. And they said, oh, where would you recommend watching? I was like, Phew. It's, it's, it's so hard it's to do. There's so many bit good bits, isn't there? I mean, the first person, that, the first place to jump jump out is um, Bungalow. Yeah. But that's very weather dependent. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> get stuck again, up there. You've got, you got the Victory Cafe. You've got lovely views. You can see a lot of the track. Yeah, you can see it coming all the way around, yeah. all the way up. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. That That's the first place I thought of. If I could guarantee a decent spot, I'd say Bottom of Bray Hill. Yeah. Um, Kurt Michael. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's impossible to choose one place, yeah. isn't it? You need to come for a week. Well, this is Sulby Straight now, and this is where it starts getting bumpy. It starts getting bumpy here, and it only gets bumpier until we get to Ramsey. Has it got worse? Um, I, my first lap, I thought it had got worse, but... <laughs> But I, I don't know if that's just because I'd forgotten how bad it was. But down it, sometimes I like to go really tight up to this pub just to yeah. buzz, buzz all them lads <laughs> over the pints. <laughs> but yeah, it's that bumpy down here that it like it bounces, you suck and bounce your feet off the pegs, and, and it's you, you hit a bump. You're doing like 180 mile an hour, or whatever, 190 mile an hour. You hit a bump, and it bounces your head above the screen, and then the wind gets you, and then you can't fight the fucking thing back, and then you hit another bump, and you bounce up again. It's you constantly constantly wrestling with the bike yeah. even though it's a straight <coughs> not not quite so bad on the 600 but yeah on a big bike fuck me trying to hold on to it and it is full on when you you know when you've got every night you're doing three four i mean i did six laps on the first night and it's fucking hard work yeah i got nicked for speed in here once did but coppers there yeah on that cbr 600 and, and they properly fine you if you get done over here yeah, as well. Yeah, I think yeah. it was like a yeah. s six or seven hundred pound fine. So let that be a lesson to everyone. Mind you, it's not as bad as bloody Switzerland. No, no, it's not far off though. The jail, the, the jail terms, you can go to jail for a lot less than you could in the UK, couldn't you? Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, oh, they lock you up, yeah. yeah. They're not, not afraid of locking you up. No. I think, I think especially in TT week because they're really quite keen on people behaving themselves. They'll they'll lock you up and then tell everyone that they've locked you up, <laughs> so that yeah. you know to make a bit of an example yeah. of people. Make, make a tweet out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Tweet Alan Man tweet yeah. beat. This is one of the worst corners on yeah. the track, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You're trying to get the thing slowed down at that yeah. side, and there's a big divot, and you, you you've got to just let go of the brakes and, yeah. and turn in and out for the best. Yeah, this is naughty, this bit, isn't it? And, and uh, part of me thinks they should just. Like resurface they the whole do. bit, but they should I, do. I don't think because you got all the tree roots growing under, and it, I just I don't think it'd last. <laughs> hey, bummer. Can I? We're just doing a lap in the van on the cameras. Can I ring you back in a yeah. in a bit? See this here, look. Yeah. See these? Yeah, yeah. What's that? That he forgot to turn the fucking line machine off oh, when he pulled out the council sake. depot. Fucking hell. <laughs> How long does this last for? Uh, I think that happened in 20... Uh, just after the TT last time. Fuck's sake. Fucking forgot to turn it off. Fuck's sake. So the red, the yellow flags came, or the red flags came out about here. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, well, what do I, like, where do I stop? And yeah. I kind of rolled, rolled around this bit, which is all opened up massively. Yeah, apparently you oh, got, yeah. Apparently you got a big fine. Uh, that's why he's had to plant some more trees because he chopped all the trees down. Yeah. So, um, wow, wow! Yeah, I came around it. How different does it look? Yeah. It's just opened up completely. Yeah. Uh, and again, I stopped in there next to that house. Right. The couple who owned that house were marshalling at that point, oh, really? and they made us a cup of tea and fetched the biscuits out and nice. Offered us all a beer, but I thought I better not. No one else accepted, and we had if to ride the bike. Yes, back. You would have said if someone yes. said yes, I yeah. probably would have. Yeah. But um, yeah, I thought I better not. Well, you've changed. <laughs> oh yeah. I was watching some of the videos from Katri, and it is, it is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 speed that you've got to that you've got to come through here. All these and the bikes twisting and bouncing yeah. and. 
yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty silly, really. <laughs> and this, this next, I think this is the bumpiest corner on the track. Sky Hill, I think it's called. It, it's, it, you just, it just, it's like the see the ripples. The, it's yeah. trying to bounce you off the seat of the bike. Yeah. You're fucking fighting to keep your legs on. And then there's a massive bump as it as the tarmac changes, and then it goes really, it's like it goes really smooth. Like you go over that, and then <sighs> it's nice and soft. But then it all fucking kicks off again when you get round here. But they put this cycle lane just to match the lines that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, Joe Ackroyd. Yeah. He broke down. Well, he didn't break. He he ran out of fuel here. In what? He ran out of fuel here in 2019. Why did he run out of fuel? Uh, I, I think I think it was something like um, they were trying a different fuel tank, or maybe they'd been on the dyno in the daytime and forgot to fuel, fuel it up, or whatever the reason being. So he ran out of fuel here. And if you don't know if you can see, well, that's a petrol station. Yeah. So he ran out of fuel at the petrol station, parked his bike up, got a bus back to the paddock to you try are and get fucking to try and, instead of <laughs> instead of trying to bump some fuel off the wall. <laughs> oh dearie me. Sake. Are we going for it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we ought to have a bit of a try. I don't know if I've strapped them um, fuel cans down, but there's two chance they've got lids on them, haven't they? Oh fuck it. So Try, try not to embarrass all these lads on their uh, on the super bikes. I, I, I don't know. If, I don't know. It feels fucking really bad doing this, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've not got the fastest van in the world, can we? I don't really know. What, oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit! I'm f I pedal to the metal, metal here. Come on, you fucker. Oh, well, we've done a Golf GTI anyway. <laughs> oh, we didn't manage to keep up with them bikes then, did we? No. It's probably for the best. Probably for the best, yeah. Because I would have got all excited. What do you think we'll get out of the Vivaro? I think we'll see 110. Nah, no way. 105? I reckon, I I reckon she's good for 105. I don't reckon we'll see a ton. Fucking, we'll see a ton. Actually, <laughs> actually, we might not. <laughs> it's saying 89, viewers. It's saying 89, but just for... Uh, I don't mate, we ain't going to see 95. I've had a ton out of this bastard before. <laughs> Have I got my handbrake on or something? What's going on here? You've got me in the van. <laughs> oh, 91 might be a lot. Fucking hell, there's no handles. Fucking hell, fucking hell, <laughs> booby, fuck. Slow down, oh my God, slow down. <laughs> Fuck me, what? fuck me! What? Fucking hell! <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <right> silly fucking <laughs> hell! <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh I fun. fucking hate that. I fucking hate that. Oh! <sighs> <laughs> Oh, well, I was only doing 91, you're all right. Yeah. 105, fucking hell. Oh, God. Fucking hell. We're, we're all right, we're all right. I know my way around. I've seen someone ride up that fucking Have mountain you? flat out. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, on a road bike. The mountain had been shut. So, I was on a road bike. There was about 50 road bikes all waiting in Ramsey to, to go and do a lap over the mountain. And... Um, it was a bit mental, really. They kind of like they set us all out, and it was it might as well have just been a racing start. It just everyone flat out, <laughs> cold tires. When was this? And, uh, uh, in seventeen or eighteen, I think. And um, yeah, he just got halfway around Mount Box and decided he wasn't going to make it around the corner, so I sat the bike up and fucking took the off-road route yeah, instead no. at probably eighty mile an hour. If I hadn't have had that pad tie this morning, <laughs> I'd, have, uh, I'd be I'd be chucking a right ear and going having one of them. Oh yeah, one of them pies because the pies at yeah. the Victory Cafe. Oh, should we go and do that sometime before I go? Yeah, yeah. If if you tried to explain to someone what the Isle of Man TT like, what it was like, and told them that there was a fucking level crossing halfway around the racetrack, <laughs> they'd think he was taking yeah. a piss, wouldn't they? Blues, feds, blues, no, blues. I've seen the feds, yeah. He's got his lights shining as well. It does put the willies up, you don't it? it when does. you see, when yeah, you see yeah, them yeah. sat there. Even though well, there isn't were you a there speed when, limit. The, when he turned up? When the cops oh, turned up? Oh, yeah, down at. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we do it in the middle of uh, Mega Test. Yeah. And this copper pulls in, it was like, oh, fuck, we're fucked. That's it. 
Turns out it was some guy who services the cop cars. <laughs> yeah, he just, out for a joyride. Yeah, he's a 44 t fan. That Bilingo's giving it licks, isn't he? Yeah, he's having a proper go. Yeah. I would fucking caught him on the road, though. And he's a local by the looks of it. Yeah. Ooh, I felt it move then. Oh, <laughs> shitting hell, shitting hell. Oh, ah. fuck! Oh my god! Don't 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 don't. <laughs> oh god! I'm the world's worst passenger, and I don't care. <sighs> there we go. Mountain, mountain section done. And have you come down to the crag? Uh, I heard reports of you trying to pull some really shit really last time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was on a Triumph, and it was a slow lap. Uh, so I thought, I'll just do a big wheelie coming out the Craig. But it, it didn't happen. Did it go it, up at all? It, yeah, but it but that's almost worse, isn't it? Because yeah. I went, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sometimes you're just better off not wheeling than doing a shit wheelie. But never mind. What's this automatic barrier? Ooh, Ooh, Ooh fucking, fucking hell. hell. I've never watched from the Craig. I have, it's cool, really yeah. cool. Can you drop me off at Shopshite? Yeah. 